Hi guys, so what you just heard there was a custom beat that I created using EZ Drummer or EZ Drummer if you're American in GarageBand and so in this video today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own custom beats. So first of all we want to create a software instrument track and we can see this on the left hand side of the screen in my channels and once we're there you want to click on the software instruments tab in the top right hand corner of the screen and then once we're there we can see two tabs one saying browse and one saying edit and we want to click on the edit tab now once we're in the edit tab we want to click the first button that is available that is right here and this says sound generator and when you click on that you should get a large drop down menu as you can see here it's got lots of different virtual instruments like basses organs uh, i think there's even guitar options there but we want to go all the way down to the bottom and there you can see EZ Drummer and you click on that. Now we want to click on the button to the left of the tab that we just activated and as you can see it actually opens up EZ Drummer in GarageBand and from here you can actually change different parts of the kit. So you can change the type of snare that you want, the type of kick, the type of toms, the type of cymbals. Now with your MIDI keyboard, you can actually go about punching in your own custom beats. It's very important that you use a MIDI keyboard. Uh, you can use a function in GarageBand uh, that allows you to use your actual physical keyboard on your laptop or your computer uh, to create the beats, but in my opinion, it's a lot easier to just buy a cheap, small MIDI keyboard um, to create your beats. If you have any queries or need some help, please feel free to write something in the comment section and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, take care guys. Bye.